we are looking at Lafrex today. If you don't know what a Lafrex is, it's a little gadget that you can put onto your flute between joints. The idea is that you build basically a sound bridge so that it resonates more. I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys on a journey with me from opening this up to learning about it and then trying it together. The official name is Lefrec Sound Bridge. My flute is rose gold, which is copper and gold combined. It's an alloy. The red brass with gold plating is probably going to be the one that does it. Let's take a look at this. Looks like we have a bunch of Lefrec elastic bands. <laughs> Let's just go with the one I'm holding, which is the solid silver. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It almost looks like a cassette tape. Oh, that's cute. That's what it looks like. I gotta put on my glasses, guys, because I cannot tell if this is focused at all. Cool stuff, cool stuff. The solid silver 41 millimeter is $235. This one is the 41 millimeter red brass. That matches quite nicely. So the red brass one is $60, $59.95 to be exact. This one is the gold plated red brass. I think it does match my flute quite well. Yeah, you see how that's even the same sheen. The red brass with gold plating is $259. Before we get into how these actually work, I want to first tell you guys what I have heard about it because in the process of trying something like this, you do have to be very aware of what you've heard and how what you've heard can possibly make you biased in your opinion about these types of gadgets. What I have heard is that some people swear by it and some people cannot tell the difference of how they play when they have it on or when they have it off. Here are my thoughts about that. I think that there are far too many variables to definitively say that it doesn't work. You, the player, you are going to be different from everyone else that you ever encounter in your life. So no one's gonna play the flute the same way that you do. At the same time, you're also never gonna play the flute the way anyone else does. The other variable is the flute itself. It's the combination of you, the player, and the flute that you choose to play combined. That makes a very unique sound. Not only a unique sound, but it also creates a unique situation in which you may or may not respond to something like this. It could be that maybe on a different flute, this would help you a lot. Maybe on the flute that you have right now, maybe it doesn't do much at all. This video is sponsored by the Flute Center of New York. Thank you, Flute Center of New York. However, I did want to keep it as transparent as possible. So that's what I've heard. That's what I think based on what I've heard. Now it's time to actually find out how to put these guys on. It's actually been a full mystery to me for a very long time. Lafrec.com slash how to use. Oh, very interesting. So they actually have descriptions for each of the ones that they offer. Brass is clear sound, a lot of core in the tone and fast response. Red brass, which is what we have here, is a round sound, a lot of core in the tone and fast response. I do like a round sound. Red brass and silver plated, which I don't have here. Round sound, a lot of core in the tone and fast response. The silver plating will give the upper harmonics more brilliance. That does make sense. It is easier to get higher harmonics on silver anything. Red brass gold plated, which I believe is what we have here. Round sound, a lot of core in the tone and fast response. The gold plating will give the upper harmonics more depth and warmth. Then there is solid silver, which is this one. Pure warm sound abounding with overtones. More mass, speed, brilliance, and increased flexibility and dynamics. Ooh, I should actually bust out my own silver flute for this. There's also two more. There's solid silver and gold plated. So it has all of this plus more warmth and fluid tone production in the higher frequencies. Solid gold, unequaled purity, warm and fluid tone production in the whole range of frequencies incredible overtones. Wow, looks like there are Lefrex for bassoon, clarinet, oboe, saxophone, and trumpet as well. We're going to look at the manual for the flute. Let's just start with this one, with the silver one. Upper plate with dots. So it has the dots. So we're going to put that on to the top, right? This, it'll loop around. That means I need to hold it like this. Oof. Okay. Okay, I think I did it. Basically, this is like a hairband 
with a bead on the other end. Well, first off, I should probably play it without it on. So of course I put it on and then I'm just gonna immediately take it off. <laughs> I did a bit of harmonics there, a bit of noodling around, more so to just kind of get a feel of the sound. And now we're going to put this guy back on. Now it's connecting my head joint to the body. Let's see. That's very interesting. My suspicion is incorrect. My theory was that it just wouldn't sound as good. I didn't think it would actually make my flute sound like a silver flute. That's really interesting. You know, to be able to play the flute that you're the most comfortable with, that's not a bad price. The way that the higher harmonics respond, they respond the way a silver flute would, which now I want to get my silver flute out to compare that. Let's do some harmonics here. Yeah, the higher harmonics don't have as much warmth, but they're clearer and they come out a little bit more powerfully. I want to now try this silver Lafrec on my Mateki. Let's see what happens when we do this. Ooh, wow. Lot more power, lot more core. Exactly what they said. Almost too easy to get the harmonics out now. Woo! Woo! Those harmonics come out like crazy. Mm. Right, here, here's something really interesting. This flute is not in tip-top shape. Did you hear the difference? Like it sounded like I brought it into the shop. It possibly can mask a lot of problems that your instrument is having. Definitely I would say if you do use this regularly, I would take it off sometimes to just play the flute as is to check for any problems. Whew, that's crazy. <laughs> There's so much power to it. Oh, and very interesting. It does add quite a bit of weight to this side. Whoa, this one is the red brass one. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, mm. let's see what they had to say about the brass one again. Round sound, a lot of core in the tone and fast response. Okay, the sound on this flute is already very round. So let me just play it for you again. As I was saying in last week's video, my sound is very much based on the fact that it's a blank slate. When your sound is rounder, it's easier to manipulate from that point. Ugh. I'm getting slightly faster at it. Let's see if it's a round sound. Now 
Now, it's subtle, definitely rounder. I can feel it, but I don't know if it's a big enough difference that other people can tell on this flute. So it might make this guy sound more mellow. Definitely responds faster. Like I'm almost not used to how fast this response is. It does make the response faster. The sound is rounder. And there does seem to be a little bit more core to the sound. However, I almost feel like it locks me down into only one sound. I like to manipulate my sound. I like to be able to sound like someone else. I don't feel like adding this allows me to do that. I already have a round sound. So I feel like this locks me into that one color and I like can't get out of it. This guy is very difficult to get a round sound on. So we're now going to get this guy onto my silver one. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be real fun. Oh my goodness, against the silver, it looks so pretty. Oh, I'm definitely getting faster at this now. Wait a second, wait a second, no. We have to first play it without. <laughs> thought there was a B. There's no low B on here. Here we go. It does sound rounder. to play this flute in comparison. definitely feels more silver but holy cow it feels far more responsive to me I was thinking that I need to get a different head joint for this flute so I could have more of that gold sound maybe I don't need that at all maybe I just need this and this would be far cheaper than getting a whole new head joint <laughs> just amplifying how your flute plays it is literally changing that flute to make it sound more like that metal now to try the one that i'm the most excited to try the gold plated red brass <laughs> oh it's beautiful oh, oh oh i can see my reflection on there it's so freaking new based on what happened with the red brass one i'm going to guess this thing is going to lock me down too much on this flute maybe this is why some people don't feel like Lafrex do much to their sound is because it really just locks you into 
the sound you already have. It's like they're coloring something without an outline. And for them, this just draws a line around it. So it doesn't actually do anything to their sound. Whereas for other people, maybe they bleed out. And then this thing will just kind of like put this like outline and it'll just kind of lock everything in and like make things super responsive. My suspicion, contrary to what I previously thought in this video, I don't think I actually will like this very much on my flute. Let's play a little bit without it. You know what guys, even without the Lefrex, I love my flute. <laughs> I don't think I can hide it. If this does what I think it does, this has huge implications for people who are on a budget but want different sounding metals to create different sounds. So like, do you want a more solo silver sound or do you want a more mellow blendy sound? Instead of switching flutes, you could just switch Lefrex. Whoever came up with this, genius. Exactly as I thought I would feel. I feel very locked down, but it is very responsive. It's almost as if the flute is playing itself. It's like I don't get a say in it, but it is beautiful. Yep, yep, definitely feeling locked down. Definitely harder to get the top, 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 tippy top harmonic out. Not surprised because this one has more gold in it. But it is warmer. You notice that? Oh, I was right. If you listen to me without it, you can hear the difference immediately. You hear that? You hear that huge difference, right? Like, I'm not locked down anymore. I feel like this thing is putting the outline around my coloring inside of where I'm coloring. So I can't go further out than I want to. The implications then is that this thing will make this guy sound even more like my Brannon over there. Oh. Every time, every time. Okay, gotta play with it once without. one more than the red brass gold plated. Maybe the gold plated is a little too much for this one to handle. Oh no! You know what's interesting? It actually changed the way I, that I have to play into the flute. Like, I'm actually feeling like I'm angling the air differently, more into the flute. Just slightly, very slightly. Let me just make sure that, yeah, I am in line, so. This is, oh wow, that's very interesting.
Okay, I want to compare that to how this guy sounds without a lip rec. There's still more of a silver edge on this one, but that is frighteningly closer to how like a gold flute feels. You know what's funny? I almost feel like this Lefrec is making this flute too mellow. How interesting. You guys should try it yourselves too. I wonder if it actually does kind of like respond just a hair different to different people. So I'm going to put this back in here. I just really want to try the red brass one again. Here we go. Yeah, I really like the red brass one more. Yeah, it has that roundness without sounding bogged down. Oh, that is fantastic. One of the things that you'll find when you become a professional is that you will feel like you need more instruments for the different circumstances that you're playing in. This flute by itself with, without the Lefrec, I feel is a little too soloistic to really blend in and play chamber music very well. But the problem with getting this guy, even though I mostly play chamber music and mostly play orchestra music and I'm mostly playing second or third flute. So this flute does do the trick for me most of the time. But sometimes if I want that really soloistic sound, I can't really get it as like crazily majestic and having a lot of bravado to the sound, even if I push like crazy. But putting the silver one on this gave it that. If I was playing like a solo recital, I would put this guy on. But if I'm traveling and I don't want to bring this guy, but I still want to have that like rounder sound, then I would do this with the red brass Lefrec on it. That's fantastic. I can save a lot of money by getting these. And then I can take it off when I don't want it. If you want to order it, the Flute Center New York obviously has it. If you're in the market to buy a flute, you can also use my code JAF. I'll put all the information down below about how those perks work. I hope you guys found this review informational and helpful. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, hit subscribe for new videos every Saturday and hit the bell icon to be notified of when I post. But you know, YouTube's always broken. So just come back every Saturday, I'll be here. Make sure you like and follow the Flute Center New York on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I'll put a link to all their social media down below. My last video is playing right over here, which I will put a link to up here for you guys. You can catch me on my social media, which are listed down below. And you can come hang out with me on Patreon about every other Friday. But otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I've been filming for so long already. My goodness.